everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun fold card for you today. Oh, maybe it's not a fun fold. I don't know. I never know what defines fun fold. It's more than a regular card. I'll say that. Um, it opens like this, but you also have this on the front that is a gift card holder. All right, a little mini card on the front. I am using the Country Bouquet Stamps and Punch. I am also using, which is what I'm featuring this week on my blog, the Favored Flowers Designer Series paper. This is a free celebration choice um, during January and February, 2023. And I think it might be my favorite thing in the whole celebration catalog. I love it. So if you haven't gotten it yet, make sure you get it before it's gone. It's all while supplies last and it's free with a $50 purchase. All right, let's start making our card. This card has lots of pieces. So I will have all of the measurements for this card on a free PDF for you today over on my blog. So make sure you hop back over there and grab it. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a piece of white on the inside of a basic black card base. You can't really write on a basic black card base unless you have a white pen really. So I always like to put a little piece of white in there so that you can write your message. All right, so that's your card base. Really, really easy. We're just gonna take some gingham ribbon and tie a bow on the left side of the card front. Okay. And let's cut those ends off at an angle. I didn't get my ribbon scissors, but those seem to do a pretty good job too. Okay, now for the little gift card holder in the front, I have another piece of basic black and it's six by four and a fourth, I believe. Check my PDF. I sometimes forget what the exact measurements are. And we're gonna put on several other pieces of designer series paper from that same favored flowers pack. I'm using the Calypso coral pattern on the front. And you know, I, maybe I want that pattern on the inside instead of that pattern. I think I do. I'm gonna switch things around. This pad, this paper is all interchangeable. You can use, um, you know, all the patterns with each other is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm gonna create a, a pocket with this piece and I'm just gonna take a little bit of liquid glue and stay right on the edge, the bottom and the sides. Okay, glue that right there. We're gonna give that some time to dry and we'll come back and do our magnets. All right, so for the front, I've got this little scalloped, um, stitched rectangle. This is from the contour scallop dies. We're going to stamp this part here. Now you guys, while I'm making this video, I know that this punch is on back order, but it will come back. Don't you worry. And you can use hearts all year long. You don't need them just in February. All right. So that heart is in Calypso coral. Um, we're going to use actually I may have stamped that yep let's try let's try stamping it so that <laughs> my punch will punch it out a little bit better oh and now I have a little debris a little scrap of something on there all right let's try that again I'm going to stamp that on the edge of the paper you'll see why because when I flip this over I need to be able to get to it that one I could cut off and use but I always, I always tell you guys, look to look where you're stamping, look where your punch needs to go before you stamp. And I didn't do it. All right, the next heart is gonna, we're gonna emboss the next heart with white embossing powder. So I'm gonna use my embossing buddy that is in the um, embossing accessory kit. And we're gonna stamp this little outline heart in white craft ink. You could also use Versamark. The embossing buddy helps to release any static cling that may hold on to your embossing powder crystals in places that you don't want it to. All right, once you've got that covered with your powder, grab your heat tool 
and give it a few seconds to turn. All right, now that we have that embossed, we're gonna punch this one out as well. And we're gonna punch one more heart. This paper is actually the perfectly penciled designer series paper from the annual catalog. And I'm just gonna punch that heart out of that black and white pattern. All right, now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. I have cut out a tiny little stitched border, or stitched banner from the stylus shape dies. We're gonna stamp for you. And then I'm gonna take my little outline hearts and we're gonna stamp them a couple of times like that. And then we've got our sentiment that says, I love that we are friends. So this isn't a Valentine card necessarily, but it sure could be. Or it could be a card you use throughout the year to um, give a friend something special. All right, let's get a couple of dimensionals and we'll put our Calypso Coral Heart up here. I want to point out too, you might think that that isn't stamped solidly, but if you look at the image, it's designed to be kind of distressed. So it's supposed to look like that. In case you're wondering if something's wrong with your stamp, that's the way it's supposed to look. All right. Now we will put this on the front of our little, our mini card at the, that goes on the front. We'll put that right there. Okay, now on the inside, we're going to put, see how I have those magnets? We're gonna put two magnets plus our embossed heart. It's gonna go right there. And this one, I'm gonna put a dimensional over on the right side so that it'll be even with the heart. So the dimensional is right there. All right, now these are button magnets I get from Amazon. I will have them linked today on my blog post underneath this project. Um, they're very inexpensive. They do not have adhesive on them, so you're gonna need to put adhesive. And what I have found for these is two glue dots per magnet. So you get one glue dot and then another glue dot. I know that seems strange, but it works better than just one for whatever reason. So two glue dots um, stacked on each magnet. All right, and then there you'll have that it closes like that. All right, bring back your card base and put this on with dimensionals and we are done. Pretty easy gift card holder. This card fills very extra. I think whoever gets this card will feel like very special. All right, and there you go. And you can put your gift card in there and write your message in there. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. Make sure you hop back over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out my other two favorite flower projects. Bye.